Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you are doing all well. So in this particular video, I am going to show you what is Ventoy, why it is such a great application, how do we install it and how do we upgrade it. Now all of us use USB drives in order to burn ISOs into it and then run it. Let's say for example, it could be a Linux ISO, Bartosera ISO. So what we do is we download these ISOs from the internet and then we burn them on the USB drive and then we use the USB drive in order to boot the system. Now the problem with that approach is that you need to have one USB drive for each ISO that you download. And another problem is it also wastes a lot of space because let's say for example you have a 8 GB pen drive and on that 8 GB you can only put one ISO even if it is using let's say 2 GB or 3 GB. So Ventoy is one of those tools which you always wonder how were you living without it. It's such an amazing tool and basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to create and put multiple ISOs on the same drive and then boot from any one of them and you can delete those ISO and replace them with a new one. You don't have to worry about reformatting the same pen drive again and again. So let's see how it works. So in order to install Ventoy what you need to do is first of all you need to go to your search engine and search for Ventoy download and click on this link. Uh, it should take you to this GitHub page. So the, this is the link uh, GitHub Ventoy releases and in the releases look for the latest version, the latest stable release and depending upon your operating system you download it because I'm using Linux so I'm going to download the Linux ISO. So I'm going to show you how to do it in Linux. So you click on that and save it. Now once it is saved, you need to now extract it. So I'm going to extract this and uh, you don't need this compression compress file anymore. So we delete it. And now if you see this Ventoy folder, it contains many files. But the one that we are looking for is this one Ventoy.x86 underscore 64. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the shell and I'm going to say dot forward slash Ventoy and start this Ventoy 64. So let me cancel this and show it to you how it's going to look like in real life and then I will also show you how you can upgrade your distribution. So I'm going to just get rid of this. And I pre-recorded the videos to show you how the installation process looks like. So this is what we are going to do as I showed you. Now pretend we are in that folder which I just showed you. And uh, if you do an ls you can see that these are all the files which are available to you. These are the shell script. The green ones are executable. So this is the one that we are looking for. It should already be executable. Run lsblk. lsblk is going to tell you what is the drive that you want to install Ventoy on. Now I want to do it on this SDB drive. So it's always make sure that you double check and run this Ventoy GUI. Then give your password, authenticate it and now you see it's going to show you that you know uh, this is the drive which you are going to install it on. Double check make sure that you don't have any important data into it and then it will tell you the version it's going to Installed. Now this is a old version. Uh, the reason is because I want to show you how to upgrade it also. So then once you select the right drive, click install and it's going to tell you that the drive is going to be formatted. So you say OK and double check. Click OK and now the installation process has started and it's done. And you can update it also which I will show you later. So this is how easy it is to install Ventoy. And after installing Ventoy you need to copy the images. So what you need to do is you go and you you will get this Ventoy partition. So just click on that and copy all your IMG ISOs into this folder. This is the amazing thing about Ventoy. Just select whatever you want to put there and copy and paste. Now when you boot from this USB drive you will be given an option to execute any one of these ISOs. 
okay lastly i'm going to show you how to upgrade so upgrade is also very simple first of all what you need to do is you go and you search for ventoy download this is the similar process that we did when we were installing it and the page should open and you can see in the end there is a github page so go to the github page it will take you to the releases page and now you can download the tar.gz file save it then we need to extract it after extracting we don't need the compressed file so you can delete it and then again we are looking for this uh, x86 underscore 64 so just execute the shell check the file is there and put dot forward slash ventoy and select this x86 64 it will ask you for your admin password so give your password now you see this it's telling you that the ventoy in the package is 1.0.64 and the one which is installed is 1.0.57 so what you need to do is you need to upgrade uh, so you click this update button make sure you have the right drive selected and this is now going to tell you that it's a completely safe operation the iso files will remain unchanged so this is fine just click ok and your update is successful this is how simple it is to install and update ventoy it's a fantastic tool and i don't think anybody can live without that if you are into this space of working with uh, iso files so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one